All right, volunteers, Bullet and I are back this month with another training video. This month we're talking about trotting. So how to trot in hand, which means how to lead your horse while trotting in class. So there's three things that I want you guys to remember and I'm gonna demonstrate with Bullet today. Number one is that the leader always sets the pace. So when you're trotting with your horse, please don't feel like you have to run to keep up with your horse. You set the pace, okay? Number two is to always have a consistent speed and direction. We don't want to throw our riders off by like pulling your horse and trying to get into a really fast trot or having your horse veer in a little bit. You know, make sure you're, you're keeping a consistent speed and direction. And then number three is to always keep your ears open. Listen for your instructors or your sidewalkers. If your student starts to lose balance a little bit, your instructor might ask you to whoa. Maybe your sidewalkers are asking you to slow down a little bit. Once you're done with trotting, some students might need a little bit of an adjustment. So your instructor might ask you to stop before you walk on the rail waiting for your next trot. So let's demonstrate with bullet today. Okay, so we're gonna demonstrate with Bullet today. What I'm gonna show you is we're gonna do a fast walk around the corner, and then you're gonna see me ease Bullet into the trot, okay? I wanna make sure that you guys are way out in front of your horse trying to drag them into the trot. Make sure you stay by your horse's head with your hands forward asking for the trot. So let's show you. So I'm gonna walk on, my energy is up. I'm gonna do a nice fast walk. And then when I'm ready, cluck, speed up your pace, stay right by your horse's head. And then you're gonna slow down to a walk at the end, okay? So just make sure that when you're asking for your trot, you're not way out in front trying to drag your horse, okay? That can be really uncomfortable for them and cause them to maybe jump into that trot which would lead to a very inconsistent speed. Okay, so let me show you again. Walk on and trot. Good boy. All right, so now I'm gonna show you a trot with Rodney. If you've ever led Rodney in class, you know he's a little bit of a slower horse, can be a little bit more of a challenge to get him into a trot. But you'll see I'm not gonna get out in front of him. I'm not gonna try to drag him. I'm going to try to encourage him right from the side of him by his head, okay? So here we go, Rodney. Walk on, immediately get your pace and your energy up. Oh boy. So hands out in front of you, cluck, and trot. Good boy. All right, guys, I'm going to show you this one more time with Rodney. It's very important that you have your energy up right away. Utilize your corner to do that fast walk and don't stop trying until your horse actually trots. If you give up because you feel like your horse is not going to trot, that's how they learn they don't have to trot in class. So let's show it to you again. Walk on Rodney. Oh, here we go. Around the corner. Come on, Rodney. There we go. So keep at it until your horse trots. Good boy. All right, volunteers. So I hope this was helpful for you. Um, hopefully you can attend our trotting workshop in September where we're gonna practice with a lot of different horses. And then next month in the October newsletter, we'll come out with another trotting video where we trot with different horses besides Rodney and Bullet. So you can see how we trot with other horses who are a little bit more challenging. The last thing I wanna tell you is to just practice, practice, practice. When you bring your horse out into the arena, utilize that warm up time and practice trotting no matter what day, even if we're not trotting in class, it's important that you trot your horse during that warm up. If you have any questions or need any help, just let us know. Thanks for watching.